I want to hear something good. Sorry. But I'm sick of seeing all this dystopian stuff. Just something. Anything for happening in the world for women or just anything LGBTQIA. It's beyond depressing seeing all the dystopian hell posts. Yes that are all valid and yes it is complete hell. But I'm desperate for some good news for once. This isn't earth shattering news but my foster kittens are finally big enough for adoption. The New York Botanical Gardens Orchid Show is happening and it's amazing seeing generations of orchid breeding is really inspiring. And it smelled so earthy and fresh in the greenhouse. I wish there was a way for me to build my own two-story greenhouse. There are a lot of good things happening locally. You gotta look for M. I'm in a purple city in a red state. When the Supreme Court came out with the abortion thing our whole downtown was filled with protesters. No matter what you're not alone. I left a really toxic relationship about four years ago. It's taken me this long to feel confident enough to drive a vehicle again after being abused. My ex controlled everything. He told me that I was a terrible driver and told me to stop driving and just use Ubers everywhere. And that made me lose my confidence in myself. Thanks to my mom's help. And some friends. I am building my life back. Today I'm proud to say that I am an independent woman. Financially and emotionally. I love my life now. When I used to wish for death. I went to the gyno and I said I'd like to be sterilized and she said okay and then a month. Later she removed my tubes. One of my trans drag queen friends just got a super cool well paid office job with benefits. They get to wear whatever they want to work as long as the wig can fit through the door. I'm old. And I've lived through a couple of these horrible cycles. It's disturbing and frightening. But it doesn't last two steps forward. One step back is still a step forward. We have to keep fighting. I posted elsewhere. But my oldest son is coming home after living abroad for 11 months. He'll be living with me for at least two months. I know there will be challenges, but I'm so happy that he'll be here. I think his plane just landed. My brother just married his partner of 22 years. It's official party popper. In Minnesota, we just passed a bill for children to receive free meals at school. My first lamb was born this Good Friday. In Australia our right wing party is literally falling to pieces as only a single state is left. With them in power. Now our other party isn't perfect. By any means. But it's a clear signal that the people here are sick of all the bullshit from that side of politics. I got free tickets to see the new Mario movie. I'm taking my friend, who is a single mom, and her 10 year old girl to see it. Easter candy will be on sale tomorrow. I started Prozac and so far it's not making me feel like shit as a previous antidepressant did. I got into the master's program I have been anxious about. Smile. I found love. We both survived abusive marriages. Were friends for six years. And now. Oh my never give up I am 60. I recently had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. When I was discussing surgical options with my doctor, she asked without prompting whether I wanted to be sterilized at the same time. No muss. No fuss. No begging or pleading. Now I'm down two fallopian tubes. 85 of my stomach. And 13 pounds. The last time I bought a vehicle, the salesman actually talked to me as listened.
went to a conservative all-boys school. A few of my old buddies are trans now. Much happier. I'm proud of them and support them. Indoctrination fails often. I mean, it ain't much, but my breakfast this morning was nice thumbs up. It's a beautiful day here so I went mountain biking. Rode about 70 kilometers and this time I managed not to hug a tree and break my collarbone in the process. After taking a full year off work on medical leave due to a physical assault in the workplace. I've finally found a new job who have been super nice to me and returned to work I don't have to remove my piercings or change my hair to work there and they're paying me well. I got to volunteer in Wisconsin to help get out the vote. And I'm really happy and proud of how it turned out. Janet getting to the Supreme Court is a very positive step for our state and especially for the women in it. Now that I have a break in volunteering, I get to spend extra time on my new kitten. He is wonderful. He's learning tricks and skills through clicker training. And he follows me around the house. He loves to sleep in line of sight. Especially if there's a good spot in the sun. I teach nonverbal autistic kids and this week a four-year-old used his new communication device to say stop talk shipwreck captain. So his first ever full sentence to me was to tell me to please shut up I'm modeling language so. Yes I talk a lot and I couldn't be more proud that he can finally communicate his needs. Glenn the goose met his babies for the first time and omg my heart. I've been waiting for this for weeks. If you don't know Glenn the Goose, head over the top and check out Glenn and Honk. He thinks his owner is his wife and I just can't deal with this goose being a top-notch husband. In the realm of personal victories, I wrote a book I'm really excited about and very proud of. I'm about to fulfill a lifelong dream of moving to Japan in just a few weeks after a long period of unemployment. I lost control of my bike and crashed. But nothing is broken and my phone still recognizes my face. Which surprised me. It's a mess. I love this thread so much. Heart. My dad helped me do my taxes last night. I'm glad he's a great role model for me. He has always been accepting and very loud about it for LGBT rights. He has always told me to be strong and never be ashamed for being a woman. That I could accomplish anything. He also has taught me how to do a lot of things around the house like fixing the sink, cars, gardening and cooking. He is masculine and feminine in a way and he is proud of it. I am so grateful to have a best friend like him. My wife and I just had a beautiful healthy baby boy well she had it I was just in the room being as supportive as I could. We work hard to support each other and make a great team. He is so wonderful and so is my wife. I am glad that we found each other and have spent over a decade together creating our symbiotic relationship. She can hang out with my friends and everyone gets along great. Commitment and monogamy rules when you find the right person. Sunny Skies is a good news channel. I finally have an amazing OBGYN. I have a hypertonic pelvic floor and have been dismissed for so long. My new doctor is so caring and kind. She let me be in control of how fast we moved. I need to have procedures done and she prescribed me anti-anxiety to relax me. She said she doesn't want her patients to be in pain. Which isn't a given in my experience. And she said if I ever needed an IUD that she would do it under general anesthesia. Oh and she wears a button that says her pronouns.